I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Lee Eaton has been involved in many fights, many fight weeks, but that must have been right up there with Pineda, uh, the mystery man. Mate, do you know what? Listen, obviously, when he fought KSI, yeah, we literally got in touch with him a couple of weeks before, brought him over, he fought KSI. Obviously, it was an embarrassing performance, and I was, I was embarrassed, you know what I mean? But listen, we kept in touch. Uh, me and uh, Uncle Merv, granddad, <laughs> good old granddad, been on babysitting duties. But listen, no, listen, he, he come back, we got him in good shape. He's been, he's been over with Merv for the last <laughs> week. Joe's mugging you off. No, what would, would, would I do uh, that? What's this? Joe, uh, the IBF king. He got his My title list. took. Next time is two time. My least number one. Two time world champion. Get up out that. Get up there. <laughs> no, listen, he's, um, he's come back, he's listened. He's, he's changed his life. Listen, he's just got a, he got come over here, he got a, a fight. A fight purse. He got he got a win bonus, and now he's got a free fight deal with Misfits. Wow! So listen, he's changed his life. Listen, he lives in Mexico. He lives in basically. He's got uh, him and his three brothers look after the house, and they have to provide for their family and all that because their, their mum died uh, 18 months ago and stuff like that. So listen, he, he lives in poverty. So tonight he's changed his life, and that for me he's up there with some of the highest world titles and stuff like that. It's just, I, I got him that opportunity, but listen, he, he's gonna like, he's gonna have money to live and be, look after his like family and that, and that's, that's buzzing for me. How difficult was it to keep quiet as the mystery oh, man? Very, very, very difficult. It's, it's Nissa's fault anyway. Um, very, very difficult. Um, he landed on Monday. He's been in a hotel on the roundabout in the middle of London, right out of the way. I've had Grandad Merv look after him for the whole week, been babysitting him. We, and we got him here, we put towels around his head, we sneaked him down on the ring walk. We absolutely put towels around him, sneak him around. Listen, it's been hard, but listen, I'm, bu I'm buzzing for the kid. Absolute buzzing for the kid. A, a kid from Mexico, you got former unified cruiserweight world champion Myris Bradis in the corner. Random, listen, that was random. They come up to me last night when Bradis wants to do the corner. I went, does he know who it is? He went, no. I went, okay. We brought him in here at about seven o'clock. He started doing pads with him and stuff like that. And it's a, some of the stuff that he was teaching him, he used it now. And unbelievable. So he's a former unified cruiserweight champion of the world fucking in the corner of a <laughs> um, unknown Mexican on a YouTube show. Fucking mental. Well, he's not unknown anymore. Free fight there, he's become a bit of a star. That ring walk was unbelievable as well. You see the crowd? Yeah. The crowd loved him. That's unbelievable. Best ring walk I've ever unbelievable. seen. Unbelievable. Like a Canelo ring walk yeah. with the Undertaker involved. Yeah, listen. Bring on Canelo. Fuck it. <laughs> on that note, Lee, so congratulations. Well Thank done. Thank you, boys. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.